All right, so this is my top picks for starter gadgets. Right here, we have a just a normal USB. This is the BLE Shark Nano, a Wi-Fi Nugget, a Raspberry Pi Zero W, a T Enabled by Lilygo, and the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mach 7 by Hack5. So these devices, I highly recommend you getting to start out with. Out of everything I've had, these devices stand out the most to me for beginners, and here's the reason why. This one is basically free. If you have any old USB, you can turn this into a bootable drive. I have videos on my channel on how to do that. Kali Linux, Parrot Security, any other Linux-based security operating system has a lot of free tools that you can use to get familiar with cybersecurity and the vulnerabilities. This is a great way to start getting into it for free, just to get a taste for it. Now, my number one beginner-friendly recommendation, so the gadget I'm going to constantly recommend on this channel this is a prototype. This is the BLE Shark Nano. The real device will be coming out in uh, March of 2025. This guy is the easiest cybersecurity gadget that I've ever held and ever used. This thing has firmware already out the gate into it. This thing can update on its own. It's super easy to maintain. And uh, it's a brand new device and it's so accessible that you can get this anywhere in the world as well as it's so affordable. So like it's not like a Flipper Zero where you gotta spend over almost about $200 to get it. This is under $40 US, and this is a great beginner gadget. It basically takes care of itself. It's kind of similar to the M5 stick and the uh, anything with the Bruce firmware on it that we'll talk about later, um, but it's just way easier to use. I have videos on my channel, I'll show you how easy this device is to set up. I highly recommend this being your first gadget. My first gadget was the Dauther V3 watch. I like that gadget, but not the great, not greatest beginner device because it's so limited just the Wi-Fi stuff. This does a lot of extra stuff out the gate. So go ahead and check out this device on my channel. I'm not going to go too far into depth of what it really is on this video. But this is my number one beginner-friendly device that's accessible. After you get past the free stuff, I recommend getting this first to get the taste for the pen testing gadgets. Next up is the Wi-Fi Nugget. So the Wi-Fi Nugget is just like the Dauther V3, but this thing you can do a lot more with. Why that one's pretty limited to the, uh, the to the firmware that it has. Like this one, you could create a lot of projects. This one in particular, I have set up so if there's any kind of Wi-Fi pen testing going around around me, it will alert me. It will alert me if the uh, Wi-Fi pineapple is going, as well as uh, I, I tested it earlier with the Lily Go T enabled. I had this device send out the authentication packets, and this device warns me, "Hey, there's something going on around you." So like I like this because it's my first like defensive weapon. And uh, this can do a lot. This things you can buy to expand off of this. You should have a bad USB in your collection. Um, I would I would recommend the Diabolic Drive, but it's a little bit more advanced um, for a beginner friendly, cheaper type of gadget. I recommend you getting a Raspberry Pi Zero W. That could be like your first cybersecurity gadget project. Now the T Enable is pretty new. This is new to the market, and this is Lily Go. It's just uh, it's one of my channel partners. Um, Lily Go is really great because I use it for my mesh tastic off grid communication stuff. And this T enabled has a lot of stuff right out of the gate. For beginner purposes, I recommend you getting the T enabled over the Flipper Zero because Flipper Zero is very expensive and hard to get. But this right here is under $50 and you get a lot of stuff if you download the Bruce firmware. Now, this is the beta, so I mean, it's going to get better over time. Um, it's a little glitchy at times, but it's very promising. So for like 50 bucks, I mean, you're not spending over 200 and it's very hard to get these type of things. Great beginner-friendly device. I use this constantly when I'm doing testing because of the Wi-Fi stuff's built into it, and it's really good. Um, highly recommend you getting this device. Again, this is a T-enabled. Um, I'll have links to all these products in the description of the video, but really good starting device. I mean, eventually, definitely get a Flipper Zero. Um, I, I recommend you getting the H4, but like right now, this is just the beginner stuff, like your starter kit. I might even call this video the starter kit for your cybersecurity gadgets. And uh, I would recommend getting this stuff that you see here for the, just to start out with because it gives you a little bit of flavor of everything. And uh, finally, I would recommend getting the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So this is the Mach 7. You don't need to get what I got. You can get the cheaper one where it just does the 2.4 gigahertz networks. I want to do. I want to be able to do pen testing on 5 gigahertz networks. So that's what this little adapter does. But you could just get away with getting this one. It's a little bit expensive. I think this runs about the 140 for this device right here. Still for cheaper than the Flipper Zero. Um, I had the tactical kit, so I got a little bit of extra stuff. And mine was about two and change. But for you, just getting this device right here, I highly recommend getting it because it makes Wi-Fi pen testing so easy. The GUI is so, super easy to use. 
It's super like, it, it almost feels like it holds your hand when it comes to Wi-Fi pen testing. And it's not like you have the right lines of code. It's just very GUI based. It's very user friendly. And uh, if you want to get the enterprise model, it uses the same software. So like it's, if you can use this, you'd be able to use the real pen testing hardcore stuff, like enterprise stuff. So like, I like this because it's from Hack5. They make a lot of great products, but I, out of everything, like I recommend because Wi-Fi pen testing is it's networking. That's like I have something I'm comfortable with and things I like to do. This device has so much capability and it makes your life easier. When I, when I do cybersecurity consulting at some point, like this is going to be one of my go-to gadgets to explain to people about Wi-Fi vulnerabilities. Like this, this will be it. So these things all do Wi-Fi. This does Wi-Fi pen testing. This does too. But like this, like this does so much more and it does it more professionally in my opinion. So. I would start up by the cheaper stuff, free stuff first. Your first cybersecurity gadget should be this guy right here, the BLE Shark Nano. It comes out in March of 2025. The Wi-Fi Nugget's great because it's like the deauthor, but it has just a little bit more functionality, and you can do more with it. And Cody, the guy that designed this and built this product, is a really good cybersecurity enthusiast. I would definitely go check out his stuff on YouTube. And uh, the Raspberry Pi will get your first taste in working on a project. I mean, this does too, but this more so because this is just a Raspberry Pi if you don't do anything to it. And I'm going to be creating a Ponagachi at some point, but that's just next level kind of stuff. But you want to be bad USB in your pocket, a good thing to understand and show. Um, especially if you're doing consulting and trying to teach people about the risks of plugging things into your computer. And uh, this right here, being a Flipper Zero, um, hopefully equivalent one day, uh, for $50, I mean, this gives your hands onto something cheap that you can flash yourself. I mean, this device doesn't have this firmware right out of the gate. It'll show you how to use a web flasher to get this device going. And it's a good experience because 90% of the devices I have here all work off the same way. It's a web flasher. So, Again, Wi-Fi Pineapple is great. So these are my recommendations for your starter guide, your starter kit for your cybersecurity gadgets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this video or you have anything that you think I missed or you think that are better examples for beginner-friendly starter kits, let me know in the comments. I love learning from you guys. This is just my experience over the year of doing the cybersecurity stuff and the things that I recommend and I, I, I feel comfortable recommending to you. I'm Again, I'm sticking away from the Flipper Zero because it's like expensive and it's hard to get. I, it's hard to justify big purchases when you're first starting out. So stick with the cheaper stuff first. Learn, get excited about cybersecurity, and then you can move on to bigger and more expensive equipment. So remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.